Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at using partial fractions to solve binomial expansion questions. If you're a bit rusty on either of those, um, you can see the links here to videos which can help you if you need it. Okay, so what are we talking about? We're talking about trying to get some sort of expansion of this thing. Um, and to be able to expand this, what we first do is we split it into its partial fractions and then we expand each term separately. I've got down here the um, expansion for uh, a negative power and it's this expansion that we will be using. Okay, so I start with this expression here. I want to put it in partial fractions and then I want to expand it as far as um, the x cubed term. Okay, so remember how to put this in partial fractions. We look at the two brackets at the bottom of our fraction and we put a over one of them and b over the other one. And then we want to find the value of a and we're going to use the cover-up rule. So we look at the denominator under a. We say when does it equal zero? It equals zero when x equals minus one. We then cover, our, cover up our x plus one and then we substitute the minus 1 into the rest of it. So 7 plus 5 times minus 1 minus 1 plus 2. So that's what I've got here. And that equals 2. We then want to find b. And we say when will b, the denominator b equals 0, equals 0 when x equals minus 2. So then we want to cover up our x plus 2 and substitute x minus 2 equals minus 2 in the rest of 7 plus 5 times minus 2 minus 2 plus 1. We'll work that out. That equals 3. So then we've got our expression um, put into its partial fractions. Okay, so once we've got the partial fractions, we're then going to use our binomial, binomial formula. Um, you just need to go step by step. So looking at this, I need to think of these in the negative power. So this is 2 times x plus 1 to the minus 1. So I want to find 1 plus x to the minus 1, so it's in the same form, form as that. And that's the same as x plus 1 to the minus 1, of course. And then I go step by step. So I get 1, and my n is minus 1, so minus 1 times x got there, and then minus 1 minus 2 over 2 factorial times x squared, then minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 over 3 factorial um, times x cubed, and that's as far as I need to go, so I've got that all written out for you here, and you work it out and you get that as your answer. Now the second one, when we put it as a negative power, that's 3 brackets x plus 2 to the minus 1, uh, which is slightly harder for us because um, we haven't got 1 plus something, which is what we need. So what we do is factorize out the 2 here um, so that we end up with 1 plus x over 2 outside here. And you look, we just have the same power with the 2 here as we had on the bracket. And if you imagine multiplying that 2 back in as 2 times 1 would give me 2, and 2 times x over 2 would just give me x. And so I've got the same thing. So once I've got that, I say this equals that, and then I'm just going to find this bit here. So remember now that this whole thing here is my x. I still have um, minus 1 as my n. So I go through 1 plus 1 minus 1 times x, and my x is x over 2, minus 1 times minus 2 over 2 factorial, and x squared, and my x squared, <coughs> sorry, is x over 2 squared, and this gives me minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 over 3 factorial, and x over 2 cubed. I work out each term, and I get this thing here. Now, I very simply just put all the bits together, being very careful, so I get two lots of my x plus 1 to the minus 1. So I get two lots of this one. And then I get three lots of this. Okay, so that's three lots of this. And three lots of this is um, three over two lots of this. Okay, because this says uh, I've only done this bit here, and I still need that extra half there. So I need 3 over 2, lots of this. And then I just have to go um, term by term. So you start with the constant, and then you start with x, and then you start with x squared and putting them together. Again, it's one of those things very easy to make a silly mistake, so just go steady. So if you look at the constants, I've got 2 times 1 plus 3 over 2. So that gives me the 7 over 2. 
and then for the x I've got minus 2 and I've got minus 3 quarters and so that's going to give me the 11 over 4 x squared I got the 2 plus x squared 3 over 8 and that's going to give you this term and the x cubed is going to be minus 2 plus minus okay minus 2 minus 3 over 16 and that gives you that that term there so just go really steady with these as I say um, many points that you can get your signs wrong so do write them out very carefully um, I try not to simplify it as I'm going along although it does seem tedious sometimes to write all of this line out here but you're much more likely not to make a mistake um, as long as you know you go you go steady um, you can almost learn this result and if you see if you take this result and you just swap in your x over 2 for each of those x's you will get this result and that's just because we're on that minus 1 so the minus 1 when you go down this n n minus 1 is the same actually as um, the factorials underneath so they do cancel but if this was a uh, minus two or something you know it wouldn't work like that anyway I do recommend just writing them out and going steady okay I do hope that's helpful